All right, so it's now time for some athletics here on the Sportsmax Zone. And we're on a fast track to the 2024 Paris Olympic Games. Here on the zone, we continue to build up to the greatest show on earth. And our Wednesday feature is our Paris Wants to Watch, where we highlight athletes you may want to keep a close eye on this summer. Today, we zoom in on St. Lucian's Sprint star, Julian Alfred. Here's Kimani O'Sullivan with Paris Wants to Watch. This is Paris Wants to Watch. Year after year, the lush garden that is women's sprinting sprouts the most elegant of flora, each bestowed with petals divinely bestowed by the powers that be, all with one common denominator, an affinity for speed. That trend continues as a beacon emanates from the Helen of the West, St. Lucia, from the streets of the Castries. Born on June 10th, 2001, in Castries, Julian Alfred's meteoric rise to prominence in women's sprinting has been magical. My journey, per se, has been up. There have been highs and lows, from injuries to making the sacrifice at an early age to go to Jamaica and live by myself. And, uh, I mean, even in the NCAA, NCAA sorry, Division One season, my past four seasons, I've been, you know, injured a few times and it's hindered me from performing at this high level. A story spanning two Caribbean countries, St. Lucia and Jamaica, Alfred would take her talents to the States where history would await the young sprinter. Spending her collegiate career as a Texas Longhorn, Alfred would collect countless NCAA accolades and records. The icing on the cake coming last year when the 14-time All-American caught the prestigious Bowerman Award to cap off an immaculate season. Ready to take the next step, Alfred took to the pros. Julian Alfred, this is her pro debut. Tamari Davis probably got the best start and Julian Alfred's got a flyer as well and Richardson will have to come strong in the second half of the race. Marked by a brilliant pro debut, this served as a sign of what was to come. Alfred would make her first appearance on Jamaican soil since her departure as a youth in stunning fashion speeding to a personal best of 10.78 seconds equaling the meet record and breaking her own national record at the National Stadium in June. She's working on execution. Didn't expect the time, that's why I was smiling so much. But I really just wanted to come out here, enjoy the crowd, work on execution in preparation for the Olympics. Yeah. Training, train for a month, um, work on the basics again, and then go to Europe and prepare for the Olympics. With her eyes now set squarely on this summer's Olympic Games, Alfred has shown impeccable form on the European circuit. Two of her most notable wins coming against world-class competition over 200 meters. From Morrison. Oh, and Jackson pulls up. Not an abrupt pull up as Alfred takes it from Nita. And in her Diamond League debut, taking the women's 100 meters with a time of 10.85. Smith is coming through from lane three, but Alfred has got the match on this. Also coming well is Davis, but it's Alfred who gets it on the line. 10.85 into a one meter per second headwind. Julian Alfred has announced herself to the world with pure St. Lucian blasé and flair. Not just a flash in the pan, Alfred makes her Olympic debut in the French capital. That's all we have today for Paris Wants to Watch. More to come as we chart our course for the City of Love. All right, Julian Alfred there on course lands to give St. Lucia their first Olympic gold medal. Well, they are hoping because she does have the quality to raise a lot of eyebrows in Paris. Um, it's going to be a tough field, but uh, no one can put a, a gold medal effort beyond her because she has shown a lot of quality in St. Lucian's having seen the retirement of Laverne Spencer who was their outstanding um, track and field competitor on the global circuit for so many years a uh, Conwell's champion a Panam Games champion she was a world youth bronze medalist in the high jump um, retired now so we now have another star athlete coming from St. Lucia who um, has drawn attention to her country yes and we wish her all the best. She's very special. I, I think she's going to have a great shot in Paris. Yeah, looking forward to see how she does. Well, we're going to take a quick, quick break and come right back to you 